Well, thank you for taking the time to talk oh. with us. Oh, it's an honor to talk always about peace. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, my dear sister, um, one of the things that we've always had to deal with finally as artists is the whole idea of peace. So when you ask the question, you know, at what time did I begin to involve myself with peace? In the midst of the fiery 60s, you know, when we engage everybody, you know, the world, um, always at the, at the base of the skull, you know, at the tip of the tongue was always the idea of the possibility of peace in the, in the midst of the uproar. So, you know, in the 70s, um, I, I was very, I have been always involved with WILF. I'm, I'm a, you know, um, a charter member of WILF. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote for their magazine. Mm -hmm. I interviewed people, I interviewed books, um, of Winnie Mandela's books, you know, there always had something to say for one whole year. I went on the road for Wilf around the country, engaging uh, people uh, with the idea of not only peace, but, but enjoying uh, Wilf. And I targeted a lot of people of color who saw it always as a white organization. And so I targeted them to say, you know, for this idea of peace and justice in this country, we've got to really all be in many organizations. Because people would request me, why are you doing this for Wilf, you know? And I said, because I believe in Women's International League for Peace, you know, and freedom, that uh, peace and freedom and justice really go together. And so that's what I did. And of course, you know, we always had marches for peace. Um, whenever there was a march for peace, I always managed to go. I didn't always speak uh, there, but the idea I would uh, uh, schlep my, you know, you know, my kids along um, uh, to walk uh, for this idea of peace in New York City. Um, and afterwards, we would have always a an evening of of a culture they called it, and so there would be uh, Ruby Dee and Ozzy Davis and I would uh, do something up at Riverside Church, um, uh, you know, about this whole idea of peace, you know, entertainment in the evening. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's always been there. Uh, you know, as an African-American, always at the base of my skull, in the midst of uproar has been the whole idea that we've got to engage a country in the world of, with peace. Uh, when you're very young, Sometimes um, you don't always combine your effort with change, with peace. You know, it's interesting that you know we were very noisy about change and um, about America and about discrimination, and it wasn't um, uh, the peace work. And at some point, you know, many of us moved into doing work about peace. But then we also understood the, the combination that one had to combine them both. They were not separate. Just as what I try to tell people, the culture is not separate from the work that we do. You know, quite often, you know, in the movement, there would be people having conversations, and then they said, then we're going to have a cultural night. You know, so they remove the um, the activism of the cultural workers. You know from the activism of discussing or, or making policy. So I, my voice was always a very loud voice about the not separating the two, mm -hmm. that there was no real separation there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.